Broadway dark for a year, leaving thousands of people unemployed. Many musicians are finding ways to create perfect harmony nonetheless. Yes, they're celebrating International Women's Day. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more. This is a bass trombone. Jennifer Wharton has been proudly playing trombone for years in a Broadway pit orchestra. Her latest gig, West Side Story, until the pandemic hit. Unfathomable still to this day that we've been out of work for a year. A few months ago, when she was feeling down, it was music that lifted her back up. Specifically, hearing a song from the movie The Greatest Showman for the first time called This Is Me. Speaks to me because it's about loving yourself, even though you may not have the support that you want. No one in my family was a musician, and it's just a hard life. And I really had to fight to um, pursue my dream. And I found my family in music. Bringing together her music family to play that inspiring song in a virtual performance for International Women's Day. <laughs> Among those 47 women, mostly trombone players, is Sarah Giacovino, also a Broadway musician, eager for their music to leave a mark on aspiring female artists. Jennifer and I grew up uh, when there weren't really many female role models for younger students to look at. That's why they say, oh, it's uh, trombone is an instrument that mostly men play. I figured if I could give some younger folks uh, you know, the ability to see all these amazing females together playing, it would be really cool because I wish I had that when I was younger. Instruments are not male or female. Uh, they're just instruments. Hoping this strikes a chord with all those listening, not just on a day set aside to celebrate women, but every day. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. And while many of the musicians featured in the video are from our area, the group does include people from other parts of the country and around the world. You can see the full video at CBSNewYork.com. Nice lift, right? Yes. Feels good.